Hi guys, welcome back to another car review. I'm Ray Gan and today we have our first featured car after the Philippine lockdown. What I have here is the flagship model of Cherry Auto Philippines. This is the seven-seater Cherry Tigo 8 Luxury EX. Let's do this. Some people say that love is sweeter the second time around. And I guess the same could be said in the car industry. Cherry Auto first came into the Philippines in 2007. And though the brand stayed on for a few years, they never really gained a strong foothold in the local car industry. Well, fast forward to 2020, and Cherry Auto is bent on having a strong comeback in the local car industry. And it's now under the helm of a new distributor, United Asia Auto Group, the same guys who are behind Photon SUVs and light commercial vehicles. So how did United Asia Auto Group address that China quality stigma? Well, first, they threw in a 10-year or 1 million kilometer engine warranty into the mix. That's a first of its kind in the Philippines. Next, they added a 5-year bumper-to-bumper warranty for the car itself. And to sweeten the deal, they even included a 3-year preventive maintenance service package for free. Such a high level of confidence from the distributor already tells you what kind of quality awaits you with a Cherry Tigo 8. But warranties and preventive maintenance packages aside, let's go around the car and check out its features and fun facts and just see how she delivers the goods. Normally when I do my car reviews, I begin with the exterior of the car, but the Cherry Tigo 8's key is just too good to put at the end of the video. You see, it comes with this standard looking key fob, and you got your usual lock, unlock, and trunk release button. But at the same time, you also have this. This is a smartwatch key, the first of its kind that I've seen in a car. You see, this smartwatch key can remote start your engine and your air conditioning. It can remote open your windows and close your windows. And it can even remote open your trunk uh, lid. Aside from that, it also tells you your heart rate, your steps, and it also tells you the time. <laughs> so it's a nifty little key that you just wear on your wrist. So there's really no uh, problems with you just fumbling around with your key fob, just trying to open your car. It's already there. Now, it has a lot of features, so uh, I won't discuss it in this video, but instead, if you want a little bit of a tutorial on this uh, key fob, just click that video right there, okay? But after you watch this Tigo 8 review. The Cherry Tigo 8 was designed by Kevin Rice, the same guy behind Mazda's vision concept and currently the Chief Creative Officer of Pininfarina. Now, if you will look at the front fascia of the Tigo 8, you will note that there are some Japanese and European influences found there. This is Cherry's uh, signature crouching tiger grill. So, let's see, crouching tiger. I'm having a hard time seeing it. Maybe if I squint my eyes a little. Crouching tiger, look. Mm still not there guys but anyway this front fascia is still beautiful because instead of having a huge gaping blacked out mouth you have this nice chrome grill strip right here in the middle which splits your front grill giving it a more premium and upscale look now that chrome strip ties up your led headlights yes you have led headlights in the tigo 8ex but these are just for the low beams because the high beams are in halogen which in my opinion is a particularly small smart move because LED lights look good and all but if you are trying to travel through hard fog and hard rain well LED lights just won't cut it and that's where your halogen high beams come into play now moving down further down from the headlights you will have your uh, daylight running lights and you've got a little bit of some fake vents going on here which I'll have to you know give a pass to it uh, it's it looks, looks good, but it's not really functional. But overall, the front fascia of the Tigo 8 is a sporty, aggressive look. 
kind of reminds me of a more aggressive RAV4. Moving on to the side profile of the car, you will note that its size is pretty standard in terms of mid-size crossover SUVs. It is a tad larger than the Hyundai Santa Fe, which gives it a little bit more presence on the road. Now, if you will look at the wheel arches, you note that there are no huge black plastic claddings found there, which is a big plus for me because I don't like huge black plastic claddings on city crossovers. And that's what the Tiggo 8 is. This is a luxury uh, crossover that you will just find on the streets. Now, the minimal black plastic claddings go all the way down. And here above that, you will find that you have this nice chrome strip, which breaks the monotony of the side profile. Overall, this uh, Tigo 8, well, I've been driving it for a week and I've been getting some inquiries from uh, some people, some drivers who uh, saw it and they thought that it was a new offering from a European brand. So imagine their surprise when I told them that it is a Cherry, it's a Cherry Tigo 8 Luxury EX. Now when it comes to the wheels, you've got 18 inch blacked out wheels here, giving it a little bit more of a sporty vibe and it's wrapped in, get this guys, it's wrapped in Batman tires. You heard me right. It's the first time I've heard of a car with tires that are named after the Dark Knight of Gotham. Well, if you look at the wheels and the tires, they do look like they are from the streets of Gotham. They won't be lost in the streets of Gotham, but yeah, you've got your Batman tires right there. Moving on to the rear of the Tiggo 8, I am blown away by the design of this rear end. You've got your full LED taillights going on there. You've got your full LED turn signals. You've got this full LED light strip that can be found there, giving it that premium luxury European look to it. And you've got your fake uh, vents that can be found here at the rear bumper. I give that a pass, it's not really good, but well, it's there. And you also have this chrome accent that can be found on both sides of the rear bumper, which makes you think that they're actually dual tailpipes, but trust me, they're not tailpipes, they're just designed like that. The tailpipes are nowhere to be seen on this car, it's probably just tucked in inside. Now, the lift gate of the Tiggo 8 is also an automatic lift gate, but it is a smart automatic lift gate at that. You see, when it senses your uh, smart watch or your key fob it and uh, for two seconds and the light would start blinking and you just step back a few steps and your uh, lift gate would automatically open for you. This uh, automatic lift gate is uh, pretty nifty because of that uh, smart feature that it has. Uh, it's especially useful when you're carrying a bunch of groceries or heavy items and you don't really have hands uh, that you can use to open your Tigo 8. So it will just open uh, automatically for you. Another party trick that can be found in the Tigo 8 is the height preset of the lift gate itself. You see, you might be parking in a slot or a garage that you know the lift gate might hit something like a wall. So all you need to do is just uh, put it at the certain height that you want it to open to, press the open button for three seconds and you've got it, you've preset the, the lift gate uh, opening uh, height level. So now that we have the lift gate open, you will see that the trunk of the Tiggo 8 has a decent amount of trunk space. You've got 32.5 cubic feet of trunk space that can be found here. Well, it is a seven-seater, so that explains the cavernous uh, trunk that you have. You see groceries, uh, golf bags, you won't have any issues with that. I got my photography and video equipment right here. And if you need a little bit more space, you can uh, open the floor and in this area, you will have more uh, space, trunk space that can be found. You got your tools there. Uh, your spare tire is tucked away underneath the car, so that's also a good thing because it, uh, it frees up a lot more space in your trunk. Now let's go over to the engine and see what powers this uh, luxurious little baby. All right, guys, so the Tiggo 8 Luxury EX crossover is a front-wheel drive crossover that's powered by a 1.5-liter turbocharged petrol engine, and it's good for for 145 horsepower and 210 newton meters of torque. 
Now, I'm a little bit concerned about those uh, power figures or, or the lack thereof, given the fact that the Tigo 8 is a mid-size crossover that weighs in above 1,500 kilos. But we will find out in our drive impressions later on uh, how well it does in terms of performance and in terms of fuel economy. Since the Cherry Tigo 8 Luxury EX is a seven-seater crossover, it would most likely be bought by uh, people with families and with uh, small children. So let's try out the second row, the back seat, to see how comfortable it is. Okay, so right now I'm seated at the back seat and you could see that it is a good amount of space. I got a good amount of headroom right here. And in terms of knee room, I got a good amount of knee room as well. Uh, the seats in front are adjusted to somebody of my height. I'm five foot six. And as you can see, well, it has a good amount of space as well. Here in the back seat, you'll, you'll have your uh, single USB uh, port where you could charge your gadgets here. So if you need uh, to charge a couple of gadgets, well, tough luck. You can't really do that with a single USB port. You have a small cubby here for some small items like uh, coins and you also have your dual air vents that are found here at the back seat as well. The quality and the fit and finish here in the back seat is pretty phenomenal. You could see the, the finish of the, the door panel itself. You've got even the speakers have a nice uh, Tigo accent here with some silver and you've got some nice materials as well that can be found here at the side of the door. Now let's go into the third row seat just to see how comfortable or uncomfortable it could be. So all you need to do is uh, pull the latch here and, and just slide the seat forward, okay? And step right in. All right, so I'm seated here at the third row and uh, it's quite tight, but uh, there's decent amount of uh, leg room and space as well can be found here. For short trips, it's pretty okay for adults. But don't go on a long drive and uh, you're an adult and you're seated here. It's going to be a little bit of a torture for you. Uh, for long drives, this is perfectly okay when, uh, when you have small kids uh, and stuff. But yeah, uh, back here in the third row, there's really not much toys. You only have a cup holder and uh, no charging ports uh, found here. So yeah, there's that. So anyway, let's get out of this uh, third row. It's pretty hot and sweltering here. Let's get out of here and go over to the driver's side of the car and see what toys we can find in front. All right, guys, let's go inside the car, see what the driver's seat is all about. And upon opening the door, you will note that your driver's seat is six-way power adjustable, as you can see there and you've got nice pleather material. This is full leather. Uh, although it's full leather, the design is quite good. You've got perforations in the center part of the seats and you've got contrast white stitching as well. And it looks like it has quite some good uh, bolstering going on with it. So let's go inside and see what the driver's seat is all about. All right, so now that you're in the driver's seat, you will be greeted by this nice leather wrap steering wheel. And it's got a plethora of buttons right here that controls your cruise control and Bluetooth calling and volume controls as, as well. And you've got your instrument uh, panel here. Your gauges are all in full digital LED. And if you'll notice, your gauges uh, are kind of in a different format. You've got your speedometer right here at the left side and you've got a tachometer here at the right side. It's a little bit uh, confusing, but takes some getting used to. But you also have a redundant uh, digital speedometer right here in the middle. Now, you have your uh, engine temperature and your fuel gauge uh, both in a nicely designed, uh, tasteful digital display showing you the, well, the level of fuel you have and the temperature of your engine. Now, if you will go into the options of your LED display here in the gauges, you will see that you have what you call a theme and the theme says it's in fantasy mode. <laughs> it's a bit of a party trick right here and it, you could also toggle it. Hold on, what happened? There you go. So you're at fantasy or you could have passionate. So passionate is quite hot and fantasy is quite cool. So it all depends on the personality of the driver of the Tigo 8. Moving on to the infotainment display, you have here a 10.25 inch uh, touchscreen display. It's in full uh, HD resolution. You've got here a mock-up of the Tigo 8 Luxury EX. It's a pretty nifty touch. Now, if you notice, I've been touching it, but it's not really responding. Why? Because it's powered down. The power button can be found here uh, below the center AC vents. You've got an app 
actual physical power button this is a huge plus for me when it comes to infotainment systems because i don't really like fiddling around with the touch screen when i want to turn on turn off my uh, infotainment system so upon turning it on it goes straight into radio which is pretty much the default uh, setting for this infotainment system it's something of a pet peeve for me because uh, sometimes you know i'm listening to my spotify over bluetooth and you know when i get out of the car and uh, get back in and turn on the car it always reverts back to uh, the radio uh, i would really love to see cherry uh, change that maybe with a software update wherein uh, it would keep the previous uh, audio settings that you were in like if you were listening to spotify over B bluetooth uh, it would uh, start up at that at that point now i i keep on mentioning bluetooth and uh, over spotify because uh, the tigo 8 doesn't have apple carplay or android auto so you'll have to use bluetooth connectivity to um, you know to mirror your smartphone it's not really a big issue because well connectivity is pretty good it's uh, robust all right now uh, looking at the screen it's quite responsive as you can see I'm at the radio and I go to music go to uh, go to picture and all so the touch screen is uh, very responsive now if you don't like uh, you know fiddling around with the touch screen don't worry because you've also got your controls uh, a stack of controls here below the center AC uh, vent you've got your volume controls you got your hazard light your home button you've got your answer uh, um, phone button and a settings button and I love how they finish all these uh, this panel of buttons it's made of a premium uh, metal like material right like an aluminum material and it has that nice premium um, sound to it whenever you uh, press the buttons so I'm gonna press the power button again listen to this All right there you go see really really sounds uh, premium now well the the fact that uh, it uh, re reverts back to a radio and the fact that it doesn't have apple carplay and android auto is a bit of a pet peeve but it's kind of negated as well by a party trick that i only found here in the tigo 8 and that is you have your own uh, led uh, multicolor lights surrounding your dashboard and your front doors which uh, these lights are multicolor they change uh, color depending on the beats of the music that you're listening to so it's pretty much like having your own party your own disco party inside your tigo 8 while you're driving it's a pretty awesome party trick that i'm pretty sure that fans of scotty kilmer will not appreciate at all now going back to the infotainment screen so you also have a 360 degree view camera so you toggle that with the button as you can see and it has a pretty good uh, resolution to it. It's not uh, as sharp as some of the other um, yeah, videos I've seen in uh, infotainment screens, but it's decent enough. And I like also the fact that you can uh, toggle between the cameras with this. You see you have a front, left, right, and uh, back button. So you just press the B and that changes already to the rear camera and you press the R and that changes to the right camera and uh, so on. So this is pretty good as you can see it's a uh, easy to touch um, it's pretty sensitive so that's also a big plus because you don't want to fiddle around with your touchscreen while you're going for a drive anyway looking at the overall material of the dashboard you can see you've got this uh, nice uh, metal finish to your push start button your ac vents also have you know you don't really have a uh, plastic vent controllers instead you've got this nice um aluminum like uh, circular uh, controllers for your vents see and uh, it's pretty nifty it's not you don't really turn it okay so just if you want to close it just turn it to the side so that's a pretty cool touch and if you will look at your dashboard wow look at that so you got your top dashboard here it's made of hard plastic uh, no biggie because you're not really touching that a lot instead you'd be touching more of this one the front dashboard which is made of leather like material and it comes with contrast white stitching but the front dashboard and top dashboard are delineated by this nice um, matte aluminum finished material and it uh, brings the whole dashboard look together along with this um, matte aluminum line here that connects to your infotainment uh, buttons so overall looking at the dashboard fantastic um, fantastic look to it it has a good feel when you touch it it's soft touch materials and the way it's uh, fitted and finished 
it's not something that you would expect at this uh, price level this is something that I would normally see in uh, you know premium European or premium Japanese offerings but you have it here in the Cherry Tigo 8 looking at the door panel of the passenger side you will see that it also is tastefully designed it looks really really attractive you've got those nice textures uh, near your door handle and all and yeah the way they made this it's uh, it really blows my mind guys i mean it is a chinese car but it has really stepped up several notches when it comes to fit and finish of the interior now moving to your climate control system you've got here an, a blacked out piano black uh, control panel you've got your uh, dual climate control found here you can control it here because this is also a touch screen which is pretty good all right and when you do that there's a redundant display on the infotainment screen which you could also use to control your uh, climate control so it's either you control it on the infotainment screen or you control it here in the aircon system so this is pretty redundant but it's a cool touch the only thing that might be a drawback when it comes to this is the piano black uh, finish of this as you can see this is a media unit test unit but it's got a little bit of some of those fine scratches already now moving over to the gear shifter you've got a more traditional gear shifter here with your usual uh, park reverse neutral and drive and a manual mode where your uh, uh, up shift is pushed forward and your down shift is pushed downward You've got your electronic parking brake here with your uh, auto brake hold feature, which is a cool touch. It's very, very convenient in uh, most cars nowadays. And you've got a nice little cubby that can be found here, which is a very natural place to park your smartphone. Now down here in the center stack, you will note that you have the same metal-like material that can be found here. And here you have a control for your drive modes. So when you toggle this uh, switch, it changes from um, eco mode to sport mode as you can see all right so now i'm in sport mode and it can take you back to eco with just a toggle of that button over here you've got a button that controls your um, camera okay so by turning it on you see uh, the infotainment screen displays well a 360 view camera it's very good especially uh, for a vehicle at this price point a 360 view camera is a huge uh, deal maker for me now if you notice this uh, center stack uh, control panel here has uh, two blank buttons all right but instead of cheaping out and putting your uh, you know just a blanking plate or something uh, cherry decided to go and uh, still put that same metal like material to give it a clean uh, sleek look to it and uh, it's really really nice you got your cup holders here well the cup holder is kind of small so on the smallish side and you've got your center uh, stack right here your uh, your center armrest which houses uh, storage and you also have your the usual uh, 12 volt charger and a couple of usb ports as well for charging duties another notable or a couple of notable features that can be found also in the cherry tigo 8 luxury ex is the fact that number one you've got a panoramic glass roof right there it's actually a sunroof so it gives you that nice airy feeling inside the cabin and speaking of an airy cabin uh, all tigo 8 models here in the philippines are fitted with get this an n95 level cabin filter that filters out all the dust virus pollen and bacteria and virus as I mentioned uh, inside your cabin so you've got an ultra clean uh, cabin inside your Tigo 8 luxury EX that is something pretty awesome especially in today's times overall the interior of the Tigo 8 luxury EX is a great place to stay in especially when you're stuck let's say in heavy traffic because all you gotta do is turn on the tunes and jam away in your own personalized uh, disco found inside the Tigo 8 because of those multicolor LED lights so now that we've gone through all the interior of this car let's now go and uh, take her out for a short drive and just to show you how she feels on the road how she performs so let's go for the drive right now all right so we're now behind the wheel of the Tigo 8 luxury EX and we're in eco mode you see you only got a couple of modes it's either eco or sport so there's no in between you don't have like a normal mode all right and off the bat I could tell you that yes it is an eco mode why because well 
uh, Sarada's response is a little bit slow, kind of sluggish even, and uh, you could really feel that the car is uh, holding you back, okay? It really makes you feel like you're uh, saving fuel and when it comes to fuel economy in eco mode you can do around 10 kilometers per liter in the city in heavy traffic and it could go as high as 16 kilometers per liter when uh, in highway driving so that those are pretty decent numbers considering that this is a petrol engine it's not a diesel engine so yeah pretty decent in terms of visibility you're uh, you're seated uh, quite high the uh, seating position is uh, quite high which is actually good uh, it gives you a commanding presence of the road so yeah overall visibility is nice uh, the feel of the cabin is help uh, you have an airy feel because i've got the panoramic uh, sunroof open so that helps uh, that helps a lot as well in terms of uh, seat comfort uh, the seats are quite comfortable uh, the the support is uh, supple it doesn't feel like you're sitting on a couch and it doesn't feel like you're sitting on a monoblock or a plastic chair so that's actually good and uh, in terms of uh, well overall the climate inside the cabin it's really good now uh, a lot of people are thinking of course that uh, in terms of uh, build quality you know Chinese cars are not that good yet but the Tiggo 8 will uh, change that perception for you so I've been driving around and we have this okay, see? You see, I went through that uh, not so good part of the road and well, there's no rattles, there's no creaks that you could hear uh, inside the Tiggo 8. The noise vibration uh, har harshness level, the NVH levels of this car is uh, pretty good uh, for its price point. It's uh, almost the same like having uh, you know, the NVH levels of a car that costs like what millions more. Now I'll have open a stretch of the road, let's uh, take it out of sport mode and go into uh, take it out of eco mode now we're in sport mode ah wow okay acceleration impressions it's not in your face all right acceleration is decent it's there you won't uh, be um, you won't be caught with your pants down when you're accelerating especially even on an incline or even in a full load so that's also a good surprise I was thinking that the 1.5 liter uh, turbo engine would be too small for a car this big and this heavy at 1500 kilos but uh, in sport mode it really can haul its ass it's decent okay let's go for it again yeah and you could feel the dual clutch transmission working here okay so we're really hauling now and uh, okay we're now going really fast it's really good okay but the good thing here is that even while you're hauling like that the Tigo 8 still feels composed it doesn't feel like it's shaken it doesn't feel rattled at all and that's quite good because you didn't really buy this car to have like a sports car with all the sports car you know, harshness in it it still maintains its composure even while you're accelerating at speed and that's pretty good that is pretty good the Cherry Tigo 8 Luxury EX ticks off all the right boxes when it comes to the mid-size crossover category. It's got the tech, it's got the space, it's got the convenience and the comfort that you can find in mid-size crossovers that would cost millions of pesos more. And that's another good thing about the Tigo 8 Luxury EX. This baby right here costs only 1,340,000 pesos. Now that is a veritable steal for a mid-size crossover that gives you seven seats all that tech all for the price of a subcompact Japanese crossover so if you're the type of person who is looking for a lot of comfort convenience and tech in his or her car and needs seven seats but you don't want to break the bank well the Cherry Tigo 8 Luxury EX is a highly compelling option when it comes to your car choices once again guys, thank you for watching one of my car reviews. I'm Ray Gan and if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel as well. I promise you that we will upload weekly car reviews and road trips from here on. And well, I will see you again guys in the next video. Bye-bye.